Morning folks, it is Saturday, August 29th. We are standing in the lake bed of Lake Edison. This was not the plan for this week. My plan to, was to go from Stockton to Fresno and then four hours east of Fresno is a lake called Lake Florence. On the back side of Lake Florence is Mount Shin. Very beautiful place, but I plan to trout fish the South Fork of the San Joaquin River that feeds that lake. 20 years ago, I made this trip. It was outstanding. 50, 75 fish a day. This year, two. Two fish. So I packed up and left that lake, traveled all over the place. So have a look. I made this pretty much for my family and my friends to kind of see what I did this week. And it was fun. We had a good time. So see you later. <laughs> this is Ward Lake, about 15 minutes north of Florence, where we're going tomorrow. There she is, Florence Lake and Mount Shin in the background. Mount Shin is 11,013 feet. And, uh, we got to jump on the ferry to go across the lake. We got off the ferry about 45 minutes ago and we're coming up to the, we're on the top of this ridge and the river is gonna be right down in that canyon. Got the life straw, so you don't have to carry water. The felt soles on the boots, so you don't slip. <laughs> nice fish. I'm gonna let this guy go. It's a little early in the day. There he went. Alrighty then. Damn! Oh, fuck yeah! Three hours it took to catch that fish. Three fucking hours. Nice German though. Nice German brown. Coming right out of these. Right out of the tailwater. Alright, see if we can get some more. Come on. Get out of here. Hiking back to Florence for the shuttle. This is the John Muir Trail. There's tire tracks right here. What kind of vehicle do you gotta have to climb this? Day two, we're going to uh, rent one of these little fishing boats. It's $35 to take the ferry, $75 to rent the boat all day. So we are going to go up the river from here again. All right, so this is a lot more like it. Yesterday we were a couple miles up river now we got the river running right into the lake and we will fish that spot and spots heading up the river i will be willing to bet today is a better day yesterday we got two fish they were nice germans but i think today would be better all right here we go Day two on the river, struggling to catch fish again. I mean, it looks good right in there. You literally have to go come creeping around this rock and cast up in there.
and fish from over here so they can't see you. Even then you can't catch them. <laughs> All right, so this river sucks right now. I ran into some guys that said below the dam of Florence Lake is Jackass Meadows. There's a bridge that goes across. He said there was hell of trout sitting right below that bridge yesterday and there was guys catching them so we're gonna hike all the way back to the boat take the boat back load up the car go to that bridge they are stacked <laughs> found some rainbows I'm gonna go ahead and cook a couple of these puppies tonight so oh my god A little bit of cloud cover. <laughs> Turn them on. Yeah. Oh my. <sighs> he hammered it. There he is. <laughs> There's your limit. Oh, they're all the same. These are planted rainbows, but still very cool. You can slay them by this bridge. <laughs> nice rainbow. You gotta let them go. I'm limited out. You can't camp at Florence Lake right now. There's no fire. So this is my little setup. Not bad. Got a little, about to have a fire with some trout. Got my firewood and kind of cool little lake right here pretty slick not bad We are day four in the wilderness, going down the Hooper Diversion Trail. The car has gone as far as it's gonna go down this road. So, yesterday, the guy told me that about two and a half miles down this road or trail, there is some um, native brown trout. And, uh, about two and a half smiles. Let's go! Look at this, pretty crazy. Packed a, packed a pretty light bag today. Got a sandwich, some water, lures, that's about it. Got my bear spray, handy as fuck. What, you do what? <laughs> so this trip is taking a kind of a weird turn the fishing where i had planned on fishing was terrible so i'm about five six miles from where i planned on being and where i told everybody i was gonna be there is no cell service up here so if anything were to happen Basically, no one would know where to find me. So I need to be very careful with my steps today in the river. Make sure I don't fall, break anything. Just need to be real, real careful. I'm not keeping any trout today. I've got ribeye steaks 
in the Yeti for dinner. Alrighty, let's see what we can got. So rainbow, start the day. So this is kind of scary or something. There's a whole bunch of horses. Watch out, they're fucking charging. All I got is fucking bear spray. Hey, back up, back up. Yo, holy shit. They're coming in numbers. That actually is a donkey and a bunch of horses. Whole pack of wild fucking horses, donkeys. No, I almost had to bear spray the fucking donkeys. <laughs> so, this is looking a little tighter. Pretty low flows though. Way back in the woods, we found a gentleman and uh, Lou, we want you to tell us just a little bit about yourself and your setup and where we are at now. Hi, my name is Lou and I've been coming up here for just about 50 years and discovered this side of the valley just uh, about three or four years ago. But this is my setup that I have put together and I'm really proud of it. I frequent coming up here camping by myself the fishing is great, but when I come up on myself, I don't really do much fishing. I don't like to leave the camp by myself, but my son came up with me. I was really excited this year because this is the first time he's been to Jackass. You can't tell people that you go to Jackass too often because of the, you know, political correctness. Hey Lou, where are you going? Jackass. Oh, well, thanks a lot. Same to you. But, but anyway, beautiful place. Could never understand why there's not a bazillion rock climbers on these cliffs. But uh, if you want solace, you can't beat it. Um, when I, where I live in Temecula, California, it's always busy. There's people up there that, um, you know, it's, they don't even stop at stop signs for you up here. No worries. Um, never had an issue with bears. The only thing I've seen about bears up here is the stuff they leave on the ground and there's no bugs. There's no varmints. It's peace and heaven. And every once so often you get a blue jay. Beautiful. Definitely struggling to catch some fish. I mean, it's it looks pretty badass. This uh, pocket right here, I, I hooked a very small trout, but I don't know. I think we're gonna have to go find something else, different spot to fish. We could go back to that bridge and bang those planted uh, rainbow trout, but I wanna do something else. I wanna go somewhere different. And uh, so, your guess is as good as mine. This is the time of day. It is 12.30. It gets hot. Super hot. <gasps> Not in the shade, but right here. Alright, not that hot. But, uh, Lou was saying that below Edison Lake is supposedly better trout fishing so that's where we're going it's a good good time of day to get in the car get some ac kind of recharge the batteries a little bit figuratively and literally gopro batteries Drone that was a pretty long hot walk we had this badass setup we'll uh, show you some Woo! video of that in a minute but uh we met jeff jeff where are you from sanger 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 california all right where are you guys from sanger Nice, thanks for the ride. <laughs> you guys are going to the bridge? Yes, sir. I, I was slamming the trout yesterday, one after another at that bridge. Yeah. You guys been up here much? We've come up here every year for the past 20 years. Nice. What's your favorite part about this whole area? Uh, usually Jackass Meadows. Are yeah. the, the meadow back here with like the walking, yeah. the walking trail. And we go out there at night time and stuff. <laughs> this is bouncy. This is bouncy. Holy shit.
<laughs> All right, thanks for the ride, man. No See you, buddy. Have a good one. You guys know where I can catch some trout? Looking for some big browns. No? All right, so holy shit. Before we, before we leave, I want to go take a look around. I think that that is the jackass dike, probably about a mile north of us so we can fly around and see what's going on. This is one crazy bridge for one thing. The South Fork of the San Joaquin River. This is near Mono Hot Springs. I don't know where I can camp here, but I'm gonna come take a look at Edison Lake. Wow, that puppy is nearly empty holy sh whoa all right so we are here where are we we are here at uh what is this place called you know? BVR, Vermilion Valley Resort. Uh, my name is Matt Spetko from St. Petersburg, Florida. I'm here with my partner, Jordy, and we are hiking the John Muir Trail. We're about 75 miles in. I think we have a little bit more than 100 miles left. I'm out here chasing the High Sierra Grand Slam on the fly. Yeah, baby. Hot showers, hot food. Vermilion Valley Resort. This is Mono Creek. I already saw some trout jumping, coming down into here. Oh my God, second cast, that is a nice fish, oh, <laughs> no way. Ah! 
there. Right along the edge. That's the deal. You got to make that cast right in there. Like six inches or less from that other bank. Drop it down in, start working it, bam. Or no bam, maybe bam, sometimes bam, sometimes nothing. Uh, tell me your guys' names, where you're from, what you're doing here. I'm Michael. I'm Dave. I'm from, I'm from uh, uh, Laguna Hills, Orange County. I'm from Lake Forest. And we are out fly fishing and camping and relaxing and just enjoying outdoors. Where are the wives at? Oh. Actually, they're headed to uh, Big Bear in a cabin tomorrow morning for their girls' trip. And this is the guys' trip. Okay. Yeah. Tell me your favorite uh, part of this whole area. My favorite part is Jackass Meadows. It's absolutely gorgeous up there, um, backside of Florence Dam, and it's just beautiful for me. I love it up there. I think, I, for me, it's right here. We've got a totally secluded spot right on the river. Walk up and down to the reservoir there, and upstream fishing. Easy, quiet, secluded, it's great. Yeah. Thanks. Take a look at night five accommodations. We rented one of these little tent cabins. They're like out of 80 or $90 a night. So you get your fire there, somewhat of a view, and then three beds in here. Not bad. I'm the only one, so I'll sleep there. And uh, yeah, kind of cool. I would say that this definitely turned out to be an even better trip than if I would have just went there and caught all those trout and came home. I got to meet a lot of different people. I had never been here. Uh, there's some drone footage in this video of last night flying through this lake bed that is, I mean, I like drone footage, but pretty sick. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope everybody had a good time. I If you want to come take this trip, it's actually very easy. The road is not very easy. I uh, would recommend at least some sort of pickup truck, truck. I did this in my Honda Accord, but I would not recommend that you can. I obviously did. I'm, I'm doing it. Um, so anyways, enjoy. Hope you guys are doing good. Sorry I missed your phone calls and your texts. Not really sorry I missed them. There's no cell service up here. None which is just so good, so good. It gave me a chance to think about a piece of content that I wanted to create. Rather than consuming content, I just thought, all right, it'd be kind of cool to make a video for my friends and family to be able to see what what's up here. 